for a story. <laughs> oh, hi, Arnie. Oh, hi, Barney. Have you seen my teddy bear? I've lost him. Oh, well, let's have a look for it after the bedtime story. I expect we'll find it under your bed. Uh, OK. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Arnie. Hello, Barney. Hello. I'm Joe. Hey, is this yours? Oh, my teddy bear. Where did you find it? I found him under your bed. Ooh, I told you, you always lose things under the bed. Well, if that's the case, I've got just the story for you. Do you want to hear it? Yes, yes, yes. OK, come and get closer. OK. Would you like to listen to a bedtime story as well? You would? Then come and settle down with us. Come and get comfy, and I'll open the book. What's tonight's story? Let's take a look. Tonight's story is called The Thing Under the Bed. The Thing Under the Bed lived under the bed with his friends, missing jigsaw piece, odd sock, and mummy's lost earring. He had always been happy living under the bed until one day he felt a funny feeling, one he hadn't felt before. I don't want to be a thing anymore. I want to be a something, he said. What's wrong with being a thing under the bed? asked Jigsaw Piece. That's just it, said Thing. I want to explore and be something somewhere else. Jigsaw Piece, Odd Sock and Mummy's Earring had a little chat amongst themselves and told Thing that if he really wanted to go out into the big, wide world, then he should just stop moaning and just do it. And that is exactly what he did. No, where did he go? The very next day, the Thing, under the bed, went to the job office. What's that? It's a place where people go to get all sorts of different types of jobs. Excuse me, he said, looking up at a very serious-looking lady sat behind the desk. I would like a job as a something, please. And what experience do you have? asked the lady. The thing thought for a while. Um, well, uh, I've just been under a bed for years. OK, experience at being under, said the lady. She pulled down a huge book from the shelf and started to look for jobs that involved being under. Ah, here we are. A job as an underwater diver. Oh, cool! Underwater divers can discover things like sunken ships and lost treasure. I know. But the thing under the bed was extremely excited to be an underwater diver. His wetsuit was a bit tight and the flipper things that he had to wear made it very difficult to walk. But that didn't matter once he was under the sea. The Thing didn't think he'd ever seen anything so beautiful. Fish all the colours of the rainbow, dancing dolphins and chatting turtles. Yes, being a something under the sea was great, thought Thing. Until he saw the sharks. Uh-oh. Yikes, said the Thing, blowing bubbles as he yelped. What sh sh sharp looking teeth? No, it was no good. Being an underwater diver was not the job for him. It was far too dangerous. So off he went back to the job office. You again, said the serious looking lady behind the desk. I'd like a different job, please, said the thing. So the lady got the massive book off the shelf again and looked for other jobs that involved being under. Here we are, she said, the perfect job for you, an undercover police officer. Oh, that sounds good, thought the thing. What's an undercover police officer? It's a police officer who wears normal clothes so he can jump up on baddies and catch them. Ooh. Although disappointed that he didn't get to wear a policeman's hat, the thing under the bed couldn't believe his luck when on his first day, the police sergeant asked if he wanted to join him in a police car. Oh, has it got sirens and flashing lights? asked the thing. You betcha, said the sergeant. So the thing under the bed Quick as a flash, jumped into the sergeant's police car and off they sped. The Thing thought it was the most thrilling thing he'd ever done. Nina, Nina, went the police car as they skidded round corners, through traffic lights and over speed bumps. But after a while, all the swerving and the bumping started to make the Thing under the bed feel sick. 
Would you mind slowing down, he asked. But the sergeant put his foot on the accelerator and said, sorry, no can do. We've got a burglar to catch. A burglar? Yes, a real-life burglar. The thing suddenly felt a bit scared. Driving around in police cars was all very well, but he didn't actually want to meet a burglar. No, being an undercover policeman was not the job for him. It was far too scary. So off he went back to the job office. You're back, said the lady behind the desk. Just in time, as luck would have it, the job has just come in, which definitely requires someone with experience in all things under. And she held up a poster saying, local superhero looking for chief underpants maker. Underpants. <laughs> <laughs> the thing under the bed didn't care. He just heard the word superhero. Superhero, he thought, I, me, the thing under the bed is going to work for a superhero. This is amazing. Wait until Jigsaw Piece, Odd Sock and Mummy's Earring hear about this. And for a moment, he thought about his friends back at home under the bed and he missed them. Not for long though. He had a job with a superhero to get to. The superhero was pleased to see the thing under the bed. He desperately needed some new underpants to wear over the top of his superhero costume. So the thing got to work and by the end of the day, he had made a magnificent pair of stretchy red pants. The superhero was thrilled. These are perfect, he said. Now, I'd like you to make 364 more pairs, one for every day of the year. What? And off he flew to save a poor cat that was stuck up a tree. Well, the thing under the bed could not believe it. I'm not sitting here sewing for days on end while Superhero gets to go off on his adventures, he thought. And he threw down his sewing kit and he went back to the job office. Not you again, sighed the lady behind the desk. What now? I've decided that I don't want to be a something somewhere else anymore, said the thing. There's only one job that I would like, and that is to be a thing under the bed. And with that, he said goodbye to the job office and he headed back home. Missing jigsaw piece, odd sock and mummy's lost earring were overjoyed to see the thing back under the bed where he belonged. After telling his friends about the sharks, chasing burglars and sewing pants for superheroes, the thing under the bed was very tired indeed. So he snuggled up and went to sleep, listening to the comforting sound of a something on the bed snoring. Yes, this was the best job in the world. The end. Our story is done, the stars are bright. Here comes the moon to say goodnight. We've had some fun, some time to play. Now our dreams will light the way, and soon it will be a Good night, sleep tight.